This week on AtlantaCast, a decade of excellence for Atlantic Health System. We take you inside the new operating room at Morristown Medical Center, learn how Atlantic Health is helping local students live healthier lives, and much more. Hello, I'm Luke Margolis. Welcome back to AtlantaCast. For the 10th straight year, Fortune Magazine has named Atlantic Health System one of the 100 best companies to work for. The list is compiled through surveys, so a huge thank you goes out to all of the Atlantic Health System team members who filled out those surveys. Your passion and dedication to caring for our patients and each other are inspirational. To see where Atlantic Health System ranked on the list, visit Atlantic Health on Facebook. Morristown Medical Center, already a leader in heart care in the nation, has opened a state-of-the-art hybrid operating room to accommodate an increasing number of minimally invasive surgical procedures known as TAVR. The transcatheter aortic valve replacements, which were the subject of a recent episode of the Atlanticast Medical Minute, replace the need for open heart surgery when it comes to heart valve replacement. The operating room has highly specialized equipment and monitoring technology and is already in use at Morristown Medical Center, which handles the most TAVR procedures in New Jersey. Atlantic Health System has reached a new milestone when it comes to providing seamlessly integrated care. A new electronic health record is in use at Chilton and Overlook Medical Centers, along with Atlantic Home Care and Hospice and other departments. Called EPIC, the new system features a special patient portal called MyChart that uses the latest technology to deliver patients the best possible care. Through MyChart, patients will be able to manage their appointments, view test results, and get answers to their healthcare questions. As all of Atlantic Health System goes online with EPIC throughout the year, patients will be able to access their information at any time, anywhere, improving care and efficiency. Building healthier communities is the mission of Atlantic Health System, and schools are a big part of any community. That's why Atlantic Health System has teamed up with schools throughout the communities we serve to develop programs that make it easier for students to embrace healthy lifestyles and habits. The a Challenge is part of the Atlantic Health Schools program and was created in response to data indicating early intervention is key to fighting diseases such as diabetes, obesity, and heart disease. 37 schools throughout central and northwestern New Jersey will receive funding from Atlantic Health for projects including bike racks, non-food related rewards such as field trips and school supplies, and events like physical activity fairs. For more information, visit our website, atlanticast.org. New doctors and medical specialists are on the way to the Hackettstown region. Joe DiPaolo, president of the Western Region for Atlantic Health System, recently celebrated Atlantic Health Specialty Care, a 5,000 square foot facility located at Patriots Plaza in Hackettstown. That is a blueprint of the new facility you're looking at on that cake. If you're listening on our podcast, you can see the photo on our Facebook page, Atlantic Health Specialty Care will house 10 exam rooms, one procedure room, and consult rooms. A courageous story out of Puerto Rico by way of Morristown Medical Center. Pedro Colon Ortiz, a third year medical student, was forced to put his education on hold when he and his pregnant wife fled Puerto Rico and Hurricane Maria. They found a place to stay in New Jersey with relatives and Pedro tried to find a way to resume his studies. The Morristown Medical Center academic program was already packed with students, but they quickly made room for Pedro, who not only was able to resume his internal medicine rotation, but got to participate in the delivery of his own son. He's looking forward to returning to Puerto Rico soon to put his lessons to use healing the population there. All right, as we head to a quick break, February is National Heart Month, so Atlantic Health System team members did their part to help raise awareness by joining the American Heart Association and breaking out their best red shirts and sweatshirts for Wear Red Day on February 2nd. Here are some of the photos from across the system. Thanks to everyone who participated in this great cause. We'll be right back. With the Atlantic House Medical Minute, I'm Luke Margolis. The Atlantic Orthopedic Institute recently announced the creation of the Scoliosis and Spinal Deformity Center. Dr. Jason Lowenstein is the director of the center. He joins us now. And doctor, I'm hoping you can share a thought or two about 
how the center is able to help folks with these conditions. Yeah, the center really, its goal is to try to offer comprehensive care for patients who have spinal deformity for both children and adults. And we have amazing physicians and surgeons in the center and really state-of-the-art technology to offer comprehensive care for these patients. So how does being part of Atlantic Health System enable the center to do this important work? Our surgeons operate at both Morristown Medical Center and Overlook Medical Center, and our orthopedic program has been nationally recognized by both the Joint Commission and U.S. News and World Report. Thank you, Doctor. To learn more about the center or Atlantic Health System, you can go to AtlanticCast.org. With the Atlanticast Medical Minute, I'm Luke Margolis.